Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't want folks trapped in there with her. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Then, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That would cross my mind. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. I'll take this to Kanja for Duck. A clipboard. map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Looks like it'll get that pin out. Derailed. That's one hell of a mess. Some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. How's that? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Has Clementine said anything to you about Doug or Duck or anything? I'm worried about it. No. <laughs> that little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Doug. Where did yesterday go? I 
I don't know. You were standing right there. Are you doing okay? I'm used to it by now. We all are, aren't we? She murdered him, Lee. I was there, Kat. I'm sorry. I liked him very much. He'd spent some time in Belgium. Where your family's from. Yes. Even further away now. Have you heard anything out of Lillian there? Not a peep. I don't like that. She's probably in shock. She did a monstrous thing. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. You worried about keeping her in there? I cracked a window. I sure as hell don't want her out here with us. Hey, Clem. What are you going to do with Lily? I don't know. Something, I suppose. I don't know what we can do. She killed him. Yeah, it, it's horrible. Hey, sweet pea, you okay out here? I don't think Doc feels good. Uh, me neither. Chair. We got him. <sighs> Suppose we ought to look him over. Yeah. Don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. A bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. I have no idea. 
idea what to do with these. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. Hey, Lily. Lily. I'm sitting here tied up like an animal while you guys decide what to do with me. It's not like that. Then what's it like? A pencil. Sharpened, too. Come with me. We could take the RV right now. He left the keys in it. No way! Didn't think you would say yes. I can't let you take the RV. Don't be crazy. You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. <laughs> Let's focus on the train. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. Sorry about the RV. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. Yeah, we're putting some time into this train. Worst comes to worst. Boxcar is safe enough to sleep in. I better get back to it. Is Ken all right? What is he doing? He's put his mind to figuring out the train. What about you? Same thing, sort of. I found some instructions, but I can't read them. Oh. Well, I'm sure someone can help you. Hey, Ken. What's up? I'm sorry about the RV. Keeping her was my call. This one's on me. The radiator's fucking hosed in that thing, so she won't make it 30 miles. We figure this train out, and maybe it turns out she did us a favor. You want to talk about that? I'm really sorry, Kenny. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We... Oui. Probably shouldn't ignore them. Nobody's ignoring nothing. 
I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. I'll get back to it. Me too. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. Holy shit! We're golden! This thing is loud. So what? We're barreling down the tracks at 40 miles an hour. I don't care about the noise. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. Attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. 
already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Stay with us. We'd like the company. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. The taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going.
Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them. Not that it matters much. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What, sir? If you get that off his face, my hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. They'll be fine. Fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect. Not that fucking sham you're running back there. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, but you need to lock it up. Be a man here. Oh, you want a piece of me? Is that it? I just want to talk, Ken. Relax. Then talk. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial. And you've given up on Duck, on everyone. Stop it, goddammit. Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? You're acting like nothing's wrong, and somebody's got to knock some sense into you. Just leave me the fuck alone! I don't need you, and Duck doesn't need you! I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm gonna. Don't give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck. You want to hurt people because you're afraid. Losing Duck ain't enough for you. Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this. I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen.
again, it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. What do you mean? I... I... Katra. It's time to... This is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean... Jesus, this is our son. I know, but we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No. It should be apparent. No parent would have to do something like this. Please right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. <laughs> 